We'll start with the prelims, oh, folks. You want to start with the prelims, or you want? Yeah, we can, we can we can hit the prelims. All right, uh, you know. Switch over, okay. Why is it doing that? Here we go. First fight is a uh, Jamie, or I think yeah, Jamie Simmons against Johnny Munoz. Uh, Simmons is a plus two ten uh, underdog. Munoz is a minus two ninety five favorite. This is on the early prelims that start at six o'clock. Uh, well, si- I don't see that fight on mine. Maybe it's just not. You have to go to where it just says UFC fights. For some reason, it's not in the on the prelims. If you go to UFC fights, it's on. Oh, there. okay, I see. Because it done that to me yesterday. Yeah, what the hell? Why ain't it on there? Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, it's actually the it's first. It's the one. only fight that ain't on yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> it, didn't make, it didn't make no sense. Because I was like, I thought the same thing, but uh, Simmons is seven and three overall, zero and one in the UFC. Uh, he lost his last fight to Chicka Daisy by KO or TKO. Uh, he lands. He he averages landing less than a strike per minute. Munoz is ten and one overall. Zero and one in the UFC. He lost to to Nate uh, Maness by a unanimous decision. Huh. Uh, eight of Moon, eight of uh, Munoz's uh, twelve wins have been by finish, and uh, on Simmons, eight of his ten fights have been by finish. So what I like on this fight is for the fight not to go the distance, and you can get that. At, you can get the fight not to go the distance at minus one thirty eight. That's not too bad. I'm just not. What weight class is this? Uh, no. ban- Bantam weight. So little guys. Huh. I would I would lean toward Munoz because he's the be- he's the better striker. And neither one of them, neither one of them have hardly any grappling, but he's the he's the better. I think Munoz is the better striker out of the two. Hmm. Uh, well, Simmons has a striking accuracy of fifty percent, a striking defense of fifty percent. Munoz has a striking accuracy of sixty-two percent, and a striking defense of fifty-eight percent. So that pretty close. But, uh, but yeah, I like. I'm gonna have to. I like for the fight not to go the distance. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I kind of like this Simmons dude, plus 210, but I got to do more research on him. He said he put the foot down, told her ass I was going. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. He didn't even ask. He said, I'm going. Get over it. It wasn't a word spoke after. All right. <laughs> Next fight we, on the prelims is uh, Melissa Gatto against Victoria Leonardo. This fight's basically a pick em. They're both at minus 108. Uh. Gatto is six and zero, six zero and two overall. This is her UFC debut. Uh, she's won four of her six fights by submission, all all in the first round. Uh, Leonardo is eight and four overall, one and one in the UFC. Uh, she lost her last fight by KO, TKO. Uh, she has been finished once. Five of her eight wins have been by finish. Uh, I like this fight to not go the distance as well. You get that at minus 142. I like, uh, I like, yeah, I do like this fight not to go the distance also. And I, I like Leonardo. Uh, basically just because she's won a fight in the UFC. So that knows that, I mean, because when you've got a new U- a fighter coming in the UFC for the first time. Yeah, you never know, you how, don't they, know if they you belong. You never know how they're going to react. Right. You don't know if they belong. They might not even belong in the UFC. And they're 
they're just seeing, you well, know, they're trying to find out. They can tense up. Right. And and being that Leonardo has won a fight in the UFC, that just, you know, she yeah. probably belongs in the UFC. So um, I'm going to take Leonardo on this one, money line. Next fight is Anderson Dos Santos against Miles Johns. Uh, Johns is eleven and one overall, three and one in the UFC. Uh, he won his last, last fight by uh, knockout TKO. Uh, and then you have Anderson Dos Santos, who is twenty one and eight overall, one and two in the UFC. He won his last fight by submission. What was Miles John in the UFC? Three and one. He won his last fight. Johns has a striking accuracy of 48%, striking defense of 68%, takedown accuracy of 30%, a takedown defense of 87%. Dos Santos' striking accuracy is 28%. His striking defense is 55%. His takedown accuracy is 18%. And his takedown defense is 66%. I like Miles Johns. <laughs> That's who I like too. John's I like John's a lot. John's actually. is the better striker and better and he has I mean he don't get taken down. Right. Right? And he seems like he can like grapple a little bit, take dudes down. Yeah. I mean thirty percent ain't great, but no. I mean that means you can But I like the, I like the eighty seven percent takedown defense. Because he's the best I mean, Dos Santos lands twenty eight percent of his strikes. Right. You know what I mean? So and he lands almost fifty percent. So you have you should have an advantage on your feet. Yeah, I like I like Johns in this fight. Yeah, I'm, I'm he's he's at minus two twenty, but I mean if you if you would use him in like a use him in a parlayo, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. And then the next fight, which will be the first fight that'll be on when we're uh, when we go live, because this fight's supposed to start around seven forty five. You got Manel Cape against Oder Osborne. Uh, Cape is a minus 200 favorite. <laughs> Older Osborne is plus 168 uh, underdog. Uh, Cape is 15 and 6 overall, 0 and 2 in the UFC. Uh, lost last fight by a split decision. Uh, Osborne is 9 and 3. Two and one in UFC. Uh, has a one, one last fight over uh, Jerome Rivera by TKO KO. Uh, the, these guys are pretty even on the uh, on on uh, striking. Uh, but Osborne's takedown accuracy is a hundred percent. His takedown defense is sixty six percent. Uh, he averages two takedowns per 15 minutes in the cage. Uh, and Cape has a 28% takedown accuracy and an 80% takedown defense. Uh, I'll, lean toward, uh, I'll lean toward the underdog here, uh, Osborne, at the plus 168. I'm all over Osborne. Old boy is 0-2 in the UFC. Osborne's 2-1. And, and he has 100% take. Come on, bro. Lock. Osborne plus one sixty eight, guaranteed on my motherfucking bet slip. It's a guarantee on my motherfucking bet slip. That's who I like. That's a great bet, man. I mean, you never know. Kate might win. He's favorite minus two hundred for a reason, but I like Osborne a lot. And then next fight is. Oh, Jessica Penn against Carolina uh, Kowalkovic. Kowalkovic, how do you pronounce? Kowalkovic. Kowalkovic or something like that. How do you pronounce it? I'm fucking it all up. But uh, Penn is a (laughs) plus 108 underdog. Carolina Kowalkovic is a minus 126. I'm sorry, I'm butchering that name. But uh, Penn is 13 and 6. Five and five in the UFC. Uh, one la- last fight by over Godinez by split decision. 
Um, Kalakavich is 12 and 6 overall, 5 and 6 in the UFC. Lost to uh, Zayonin by unanimous decision in her last fight. Uh, that was the uh, fourth loss in a row. For who? Kalakavich. She's lost four in a row? Yep. She got taken down five times in her last fight. Uh, both of them striking accuracy, striking accuracy for for both of them are in the thirty or thirty nine and thirty three respectively. The striking defense is pretty much even. Uh, takedown accuracy. Cal uh, Quay, which is twelve percent, Penn is at twenty three percent. Takedown defense. Kalakowicz is 75% to, and Penn is a 42%. I, I like Jessica, I like Jessica Penn in this fight at the plus 108. I do too. I mean, the girls lost four in a row. And she got taken down five times her last fucking fight. Uh, she said she had a 75% takedown defense. Yeah, but she got taken down five times in her last fight. Sounds to me like she's lost it. Yeah, lost um, four in a row. I, I like I like Jessica. You can't. Fighting's different. Like, you lose four in a row in fighting, you're probably, like, done. Like, you probably shouldn't be fighting anymore. But it's not like other shit. Like, I don't, you lose four in a row, you don't usually bounce back from that. So I'm I'm taking Jessica Penn for sure. You you in fighting if you lose four in a row you just got a mental block like you're not it's a, yeah you've lost you've yeah. you've lost your fucking confidence yeah dude. like that's you can't fight like that you've lost your confidence big time I mean it's hard once you lose that confidence it's hard to get that shit back for real. All right, next fight we have is going to be in the light heavyweight division. You got Alonzo Minifield against Ed Herman. Minifield is a big favorite at minus 245. Herman's plus 200 underdog. Uh, Minifield is 10 and 2 overall, 5 and 2 in the UFC. Excuse me. He won his last fight by submission over Trent. Um, uh, Ed Herman is 27 and 14 overall, 13 and 11 in the UFC. Uh, he won his last fight over, uh, Mike Rodriguez by submission. So both of them won their last fights by submission. Uh, Minifield has a striking accuracy of 48%, striking defense of 46%. Her- Herman has a striking accuracy of 48%, a striking defense of 43%. Minifield's takedown accuracy is 14%. Takedown defense, 85%. Herman has a takedown accuracy of 40%. A takedown defense of 60%. Uh, How old is fucking Ed Herman? Out of Herman's 24 UFC fights, 15 of them have ended inside the distance. And six of Minifield, six of his seven UFC fights have ended inside the distance. Uh, I would like this. I like the fight to not go the distance, but if I remember right, it's real. It ain't no good. It ain't very. No, there ain't no value in that. I like Minfield, just because Herman is forty years old. And uh, yeah, will the fight go the distance? Knows that. Minus three hundred, so there ain't no value in that. Uh, yeah, I like. Man, I want. I want to take Ed Herman. I'll be honest with you, but kinda, the age, the age scares me. It's just, and Minfield is like, I don't know. He's like in his prime and shit. He's thirty three. He fucking looked like he's built rip. Like, yeah, but man. but you never, dude. Herman is, I mean, thirty. Like shit, dude's won thirteen fights in the UFC. He definitely he got to be a dog, but I don't know. 15 of his 24 fights have been inside the distance. I don't see this fight going. This fight's not going the distance. Yeah. 
Probably not. It's just being on the right side of who's who's going to get finished and who's not. All right, next fight. You got Draco Rodriguez against Vince Morales. Rodriguez is a minus 112 favorite. And Morales is at minus 104. So this is almost a pick em. Uh Morales is 9-5 and five overall, 1-4 and four in the UFC. Lost his last fight to Gutierrez. Uh, by TKO KO. Um, Rodriguez is seven and two overall, one and one in UFC. Lost his last fight to Zahabi by TKO KO. Uh, grappling will be critical in, in this in this fight as he averages uh. 2.7 takedowns per 15 minutes for Rodriguez does. What about um, Morales? Morales has a takedown defense of 55%. He throws a lot of strikes and he gets hit with a lot of strikes. <laughs> um, I lean toward, I lean toward Rodri, Rod, uh, Draco Rodriguez here. Yeah, I'm taking Big Draco, man. Big Draco Rodriguez. Money line. I think Rodriguez grappling is going to be the difference. I do, too. I think he'll be able to. I mean, because 55%, that means fucking you're going to take yeah. down on damn near half the half the takedown attempts. They get. And you said he This averages. dude averages almost three takedowns uh, in a 15-minute. In a that's a takedown each round. Yeah. You know, so. Um, yeah, I like Rodriguez there. I like Rodriguez, too. I'm going to do a little more research on that one, but that might be one, I bet. And then the last card on the uh, pre or last card, last fight on the prelims. You get Bobby Green against Rafael Fizev. Fizev, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But anyway, uh, Green is 27-11-1. He lost to uh, Thiago Moises by a unanimous decision in his last fight. Uh, he's a de- he's a decent grappler. Uh, his stri- striking accuracy is fifty one percent. Striking defense sixty three percent. He averages uh, throwing five strikes per minute. Then you got uh, Rafael Fizev is nine and one, three and one in the UFC. He beat Renato Marciano by knockout last fight. Uh, he's the, both of them are decent grapplers. Both of them's takedown accuracy is right at 50%. Fizev has a 100% takedown defense. The other guy has a 72. Green has a 72% takedown defense. Uh I lean toward I lean toward Fasev on this fight. Yeah, I like Fasev too. I like Fasev a lot. Uh, he's my what minus two ninety five. I like him a lot on a uh, parlay. What I do like, and I also like in that fight, is for the fight to go to the distance. At, uh, you get that at plus one fourteen. I like it. Yeah, I like uh, I like this one. It's a good parlay, but all right, let's 